Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. Today, the plan is simple. Start working on some points and just continue doing PvE activities. I honestly want to finish my Mazori legs and I also want to finish more neg drops. But I also want to do more combat achievements. So that being said, let's jump right into the episode. One of the first things I want to tackle today is killing Vorkath 5 times without taking any damage from special attacks and getting 10 KC without leaving the instance. I'm gonna worry about killing Vorkath with fists only when I have full Torva and I'm gonna worry about killing it with full melee when I have full Torva as well. Everything else is just killing it a hundred times. So it should be simple enough. Five perfect kills. I'm gonna be alking in between probably and uh, yeah let's get at it i need to make 200 mil somehow by the way i did both of them at once so one is 10 kc and one is five perfect ones in a row and i think we've just done it both so if i were to look at my collection log now and we go into vorgaf i do believe there should be a kill count task left one with melee very easy 100 kill count and then one with fist for now i can just focus on getting quick kills and as you can see lots of dragon bolts from this lots of money from just alks and the grapes are gonna be useful as well because i can make wines and i think that's also a task which i just got that i didn't know i could do so some very easy tasks i can do in the future but for now just gonna focus on very fast kills dragon spear it's a pop-up it's a unique it's rare i don't know if there's any tasks with it but i guess we keep it there is so much stuff on the floor i need to kill 15 in a row and apparently me doing five perfect ones did not count towards the task which is weird i don't know why that is the case but yeah we need to do five perfect ones again i think to get points unless i'm completely trolling which could also be the case but i don't think i got points earlier for it defeating vorketh 50 times as a task and 400 ca's a task and i got a vorketh veteran on top of that and i got a vorketh's head lots of things happening there we're just still trying to get a 15 kill in a row right now that's why my inventory is a complete mess and there it is, defeat Vorketh 15 times without leaving. Now, for the one that I wanted to do, which is five perfect ones in a row, it only counts right as you enter the instance. That's why it didn't count to me when I completed the achievement as well. So we're going to be going out and in and getting five perfect kills in a row next. All right, and just like that, five Vorketh without leaving... Uh, so we finally complete it. Uh, you only do this one if you enter and never make a mistake. Trees are all grown. Now we just need to dig up some magic seeds. But there is 76 farming. There's check a ground magic seed. And now we need to spend about one hour chopping this down so I can loot the roots as well. There is 78 farming. Just collecting all my magic trees. Here's 79. And that is level 80 farming. All right. Well, if I get a lot of magic seeds, it should not be a problem to level this to 99. But who knows? We'll see. It is time for us to do a little bit of Leviathan right now. I'm in the mood. Obviously, we will be returning to Nex pretty soon because I still need a Zerite crossbow. But right now, just want to do a couple of kills, see how it feels. Maybe we get the new ring, which I don't really even know how to make. But we'll figure it out as we go. I mean, that's pretty chill, not gonna lie. Sea turtle, sea turtle, woo. Oh my god, I ate it, fuck. Wait, I get range pots, that's huge for us. Wait, then I get supplies. Can I just stay here and it spawns or what? I just got a scarred tablet. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna assume this is to put on a ring. So you can teleport here, so that's pretty decent. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just skipping all the mechanics and just DPSing. And this is a really good drop, 150 dragon bolts. But I just sit in this corner because that's when it gets phased. And I just pray flick basically throughout the whole kill most of the time and it, it's working pretty well. If I just sit here and I don't move and I don't do mechanics and I don't do the shadow or anything. So it goes like faster and faster and you're supposed to like barrage it. But if I out the VPS it, I don't think I need to even worry about it. So here is where it should go full speed now. But if I just... Not yet, the next one will be full speed, so now it's full speed. Oh, I got hit by that, which is a bit annoying. Oh, it milled me, but yeah. I mean, it's pretty chill, I guess. 29 seconds, okay. I felt faster, but with my relics, that is actually really good. What is Eye of the Duke? I do not know what Eye of the Duke is. You might be able to combine it with something else. Does anybody know what this thing is? One out of four for X. Can you get all the X pieces from this boss? Yes? Oh, shit. 
Nice. I did not know. Man, I like this boss, even though I missed just about everything there. This on the ring. Perfect. I can now teleport directly to the thingy. How do I charge this thing? Soul, death, blood law. All right, I'll worry about this. <laughs> Wait, do I have it here? I might have it. Hold up. Let me figure it out. Boom, boom. Dude, I have too much stuff in my bank. Like, I can't even... Ah, this bank is driving me crazy, man. Can we have more space, please? I can't deposit anything anymore. Uh, anyways, yeah, can deposit half of the things. Charge. 100 teleports. I should never use this much. So I'm currently eating and we just finished 25 times last room in Pyramid Plunder for some points. I'm probably gonna do this all the way to 99 Thieving and I do want to get another Scepter. So we are leaving Thieving for another day and we are going to do some solo necks. Yet again, hoping for Torva Helmet, Torva Legs or Zarite Crossbow. That's what we need. Please game, be merciful. First solo of this video and we get... That's a good drop. That's a million just in rune ore. We'll take it. Fire runes and air orbs. Never lucky. But what are these drops, man? Get air orbs and uh, prayer potions. Nah, but you can't make this up. Oh, I got a Torva plate body, but I already have it. Oh, how many solos was that in a row for this? Oh, this is a bit painful, not gonna lie. I got a thousand blood runes with it. There is the second Torva plate body. Oh, man. I don't think I can do anything with this. It's just a trophy item at this point. Well, that is the daily next milking, I guess. We did not get a back-to-back. -back. Sadness. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. It is about time we finally build up the custom room in our house where we can start storing all of our clue outfits. Simply because I don't want to just drop all the clue items that we get, but at the same time, I have absolutely no space in my bank. Oak, teak, mahogany. All right, let's uh, let's do that real quick. I'm also gonna move this thing into this corner so my house loads in faster. If you guys do not know the way the house works in this game, is if it's a small square, it loads in faster, basically. I just need to rotate the door to like outside so I can run around and into the room. Not very efficient, but we should be fine. Let me just grab a bunch of other planks as well. All right, and just like that, we, I think, upgraded our stuff mostly. I should be able to throw quite a lot of things in here right now. I, it's not completely fully upgraded, but this should allow me to throw literally most of our things in. So we should be all right. I'm just gonna alk and organize my bank because my bank is a complete mess. And hopefully then we have a little bit more storage to work with. It is time for me to finish some of the achievements that I could do. First one is to make a bunch of cosmics. I had to make a tiara first, otherwise you can't really do this, I think. Or I guess you could, uh, but I can't drop banker's note. So I would need to like destroy it, which... I don't know, it would be a bit annoying, but right now I am working on a Lumbridge and a Drainer. Easy, medium are already done. I'm trying to get hard and elite completed. That's an elite task and I have now completed all of the elite tasks in Lumbridge. However, I have not done all the hard ones yet, so let's figure out what I need to do for those. All right then, let's take a look if this works. I do one of those, I go here, I make one of those, I do this, I do this. Did he do it? I think I did it. And then lastly, I just need to make a Waka Canoe and we have completed all the diaries in Lumbridge and Draenor. Here we go, paddling away and we've also done the hard tasks in Lumbridge and I think I just go back, claim the rewards and figure out where I want to put them. Let's speak to Hades because they ain't us and uh, we get rewards for the hards and we get rewards for elites. So I've had enough of a think. Now I do really want to put this into agility because my best agility training method is Rileka rooftops or agility arena tickets. Neither of those two are necessarily my favorite ways to train. But you know what? Let's just get Herblor for now. We're going to be doing more diaries in the future. So this should be a lot of XP. Starting at 75, we get 240k going all the way up to 77. And then if we use the big one as well for 800k, going all the way up to 81. We can now make brews and probably do some more tasks and stuff like that. So that's pretty decent. 
every day I want to slowly be chipping down on this mining. I mean, I can get about 2 mil XP an hour, so it's still a 5 hour process to get to 99. Uh, the problem is this is super click intensive, right? So we're gonna just do maybe half an hour, maybe one hour at a time, and now it's level 74, chilling. Mining session over, we're now 85 mining, we can mine Runite Ore, and we're up to 3.2 million mining XP. Pretty solid. Little farm run of the day. Here's 81 farming. We can now make dragon fruit seeds. So that should be helpful throughout the days. But I'm starting to get a bit worried about farming. The best way for me to get these seeds is to do TOA and not get the purple, by the way. Uh, so yeah, we'll figure out what, what we do with all of these things. Uh, hopefully I can get some magic seeds, use seeds, whatever, as we do more bossing. There's 82. It is time for us to do a little bit more PVM. I'm gonna start off by doing Vorkath Alking, simply because, well, I'm alking all of my dupe clue scroll uniques. And as I said at some point in the last video, I need to make somewhere between 150 and 200 mil in just coins in order to afford all the buyable tasks. So that's gonna be a lengthy process. And I do need to kill a lot of Vorkath anyways. It's my Slayer task. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, and I've also made Onyx Dragon Bolt Ease from all my Onyx Bolt tips. These are gonna be helpful for when I need to heal. And otherwise I'm using Rubies with Diamond Bolts. I have a lot of Dragon Bolts available simply because I've been doing Vorkath, Nex Solos and all stuff like that. Kill count 74 and we got our third Vorkath head, I think. I need to probably bank here. I am fairly certain that my Onyx Dragon Bolts are bugged. They have not specced a single time in like 20 kills. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'm missing something very obvious. Another Vorkath head on KC88. We're almost done with the task. Six left to go. Back to back Vorkath head. Okay, we pulled a little dagger of task. I'm not gonna do it right now. I will do it in the future, however. We're up to 97 Slayer. And I guess right now it is time for me to do a few solo next attempts, see if I can get any cool drops. It looks like I was wrong. Uh, the Onyx Bolts work on Nex, but they didn't work on Vorkav. Okay, good luck me. Back to Nex solos. Runor is pretty decent. Lots of money there. There we go. Another solo Nex. Let's take a look what do we get. And we get Ruby. All right. My next goal is to start working on the Fremenic Diaries. I have zero completed. I believe I can do all of them. Let's get it done. That is completing the easy Fremenic Diary. Just made a tiara. Nice. Let's go to mediums. The reason I'm doing Olaf's quest is so I could kill the Brine Red for the medium diary. Uh, however, we will need to do more of these in the future anyways. I will finish the quest. There's no reason not to. And there it is. Olaf's quest completed. Little bit of points. Little bit of XP. That is catching a Saber Tooth Kiat for 80 points. How is that 80 points? There is easy points again for equipping full Kiat gear. Nice. Who would have thought that doing diaries also making task completions, which is, uh, it's kind of funny actually. So many free tasks I didn't even know I could do. And that is all the medium tasks completed, I think. There it is. Perfect. Let's go on with hearts. See, like, this is what I'm saying. I'm just doing diaries, but I'm also getting task completed for unlock free use of the blast furnace. So, like, all of these points have just been slipping through my fingers because I haven't been focusing on it. Uh, but now I'm just getting all of them. Okay, that's hard diaries completed. Mining some adamant ores and what's down for the elites. Dragonstone amulet, easy. 56 astrals, easy. Let's get it fully finished. And just like that, 200 points, all of the diaries completed, but we still need to go and uh, claim the reward. So I'm not actually sure where you claim them. I'm gonna assume it's Peer the Seer guy, but let's just take a look. South of Releka. Never mind. We go south of Releka. Oh, I can probably teleport with this, right? Perfect. And let's claim a lot of the rewards. And again, I'm in a dilemma. Do I put all the XP into the Herblor or do I put all of the XP into Agility? I really don't know. But regardless, here we are Thorodin. We get Sea Boots 1. Upgrade them to Sea Boots 2, upgrade them to Sea Boots 3, and upgrade them to Sea Boots 4. And I've decided I'm gonna put it into Herblor, uh, because in general it's gonna be harder for me to train. Agility, I can always run laps, even though XP per hour is not ideal. It's still better than needing to farm the herbs, than make the herbs, than train Herblor. So, I think Herb is legit the hardest thing for me to train. So because of that, let's see how much XP we get. Start off with 40k. Moving on to 120k, we're now 82 herb. We can now create super weapon poisons. Now tier 3, we get another level for that. We can now create magic mix. And we use the last one, this one's gonna be a lot of XP. 
800k, we're now 85 herb lore, and we can now create Zamorak mixes and Ancient Brews. Perfect. Now, I do think I'll go do DKs. There's a couple of tasks I can still do, but I could also do the Falador and Desert Diaries. How about we go and we try to knock every diary that we can out of the way? I completed most of the Falador tasks that I could, but I'm locked behind not having a Willow Seed and not being able to get Willow Branches. So because of that, I do believe it is good time right now to go and do some DKs, finish off all sets of rings, and just continue towards the KC task, simply because we need to kill 300 in process anyways. We're starting it off with a Mud Battle Staff, and the best part is we should now be receiving Noted Bones already, I think. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But I guess I don't need to click it myself, so it is a start. Very next drop, we pull an Archer's Ring. Dude, we're getting we're getting drop after drop here. Nice start. Uh, and that is KC27. We're gonna get bonus points on KC50. KC, I think, 150 and 300 or something like that at least. Here's another Dragon X. I think that's number 5. We got another Dragon X. We pull another Circle, but I think I already have one. Yeah. So we already got one of those. What we are really here for is Dagonoth Rex. I need both Berserker Ring and Warrior's Ring to get like big tasks completed. I don't really care that this is a Slayer task. Sure, it's nice passive Slayer XP, but I'm not too worried about that. Just want to get the rings and then we're probably out of here. Another Dragon X. There it is. That's the first one. Warrior Ring and now only missing the Berserker Ring to have all the rings. We equip it. That's 80 pointer. And uh, yeah, let's hope for a B Ring next. Another Dragon X. I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of this. This one's already the third one. Another Mud Battle Staff. Oh, here's another Sears Ring. And uh, again, we only have, what, 89 left. And I'm really hoping I get a B Ring in this session, but we'll see. And with this skill, we've now defeated all the Dagonoffs 50 times each, which is perfect, but still no B Ring. Dragon X. Mud Battle Staff. There is another Mud Battle Staff. I also started fire making in between the kills. I don't know, don't ask. That is a wrong ring from Rex. Another Warrior Ring, no Berserker. Another Warrior Ring, I think that's number three. Another Dragon Rex. Another Mud Battle Staff. Hey, we done. We got a B Ring. And I think if I wear it, there it is. We got all the points. Beautiful. I don't know how many points this is, but that just means I can finish the task and we're chilling. So only thing I need from these bosses is just kill count from here on out. I got all the drops, so 200 points extra up to 37, almost 38,000. This was exactly what I wanted. That's perfect. Well, we got 14 left. We pulled another Archer's Ring and another Dragon Eggs because why not? I thought I was done, but here's another Sears Ring. Seven more kills to go. One kill to go, and we get a Mud Battle Staff again. How much does this arc for? 10k! Oi, oi! Well, there it is. That was an eventful task. We'll, we'll come back to this place in the future. I still need to get about a hundred... Wait, I need to get a lot of KC on all of this to get all the points. But I do believe this is a very good place to end today's episode. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, consider giving the video a like. It motivates me to keep producing these daily episodes. And if you want to go an extra step, do consider subscribing to the channel as well. We're almost at 103,000. You can help me out. But with all of that out of the way, I'll catch you again most likely tomorrow with another upload. Have a good rest of your day, be safe, and bye-bye.